Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And yes, this is the first video that I am filming since I ended working on Much Do About Nothing and The Ball, so this is the whole new system of filming. So I think I deserve to have a bit of a celebration. So here we go. Oh crap, wrong way. Oh, message. Are you serious? Okay, hope that got caught on camera. That was pretty pathetic! Okay, so the confetti didn't go as planned, but we'll have to accept that. So, I think I should just get into this video anyway, just to cover up the embarrassment. As you would have seen by last week, I finished working on a show called Much Ado About Nothing, where I played the role of Dogberry, and I made a video, a vlog, that was over an hour long. So, yeah, that's pretty big. Something I've noticed since I started acting was how difficult it is to actually say goodbye to a character. You know, you work really hard on a character for so long and then it's finished, you know? Like, I remember working on a show for six months and then the show finished. Um, for the last few shows I've done we've only worked for like two and a half to three months and then the show's finished. And honestly, the amount of time and effort you spend on a character outside of rehearsal, along with your hours of rehearsal, you get really emotionally connected to the roles. You actually start to talk about the characters as if they're real people. The end of a show is almost like the end of a life for a lot of actors. It's actually quite hard to, like, leave a character behind, like, accept that you might never get to play that role ever again. You've got to accept that you might never meet that character ever again. You might never play that person ever again. You might never meet a character like that ever again. You might never even see another performance of that show ever again. And I'm going to admit this right now, it's actually insanely difficult to say goodbye to a character. Especially because you've got to accept that you might never act ever again. You might never get the opportunity to play another character you might never get the opportunity to be an extra ever again. The competition in performing arts is insanely difficult. It's full on, it's stressful, you gotta, you gotta be on 24-7. From the moment you begin your, your business to the moment you die, you've got to accept that it's complicated. You don't have to do a full on production to actually get emotionally invested into a character. I did a performance, I did a section of Waiting for Godot for a drama internal and I played the role of Estragon, and honestly, it was hard to say goodbye to that character. I really connected with that character. I feel like I was Estragon, just a younger version, you know, the intimacy and the, the vulnerability and the insecurities of the character really matched with mine. You guys would have seen Andre, who has been in the last couple of vlogs that I've made, and yeah, our characters, he played Vladimir by the way, we really got the character intimacy right and everything, everything was apparently really strong, everyone seemed to like it when they watched us perform it, and like, we weren't really acting to be honest, so like, it wasn't as hard to, to say goodbye to the character because we are still pretty much the younger version of the characters, you know, the friendship and just the personalities really do work in the play to our reality lives. Wilbur and Hairspray was very difficult. I worked on Wilbur for six months, and then I was told by audience members that I was Wilbur, I looked like the Wilbur. Cast members said to me at the first ever cast meeting, they just saw me walk past and they're like, yeah, that's Wilbur. You know, so getting the character correct and then just suddenly like throwing that away does bring a bit of sadness, to be honest. And it was a little sad at the beginning to like leave that behind and never have that rehearsal and never say the lines ever again. But at the end of the day, the memories are still there. It was still insanely fun. And at the end of the day, I got an agent to come up to me and want, and they offered a contract to me. So, yeah. Then we get to Le Beau for As You Like It, which I did last year. And holy moly, was that an interesting show. Le Beau in general was really interesting, but so unbelievably enjoyable. And... To this day, I've always said this, I think LeBeau has got to be the best character I've ever done. LeBeau is only in one scene, Act 1, Scene 2, and As You Like It, but he is honestly 
so unbelievably enjoyable and so realistic and I strongly feel as if that's the best role I've ever played, the best job I've ever done and I do feel as if LeBeau and I aren't finished yet. I just feel like I'm going to be LeBeau again at some point in life. I believe that an opportunity is going to come up eventually for me to be able to play LeBeau again and I will take that opportunity because LeBeau was great. I just feel as if LeBeau, we aren't finished yet. We've still got unfinished shows to do. We should have done many more shows for As You Like It. They're going to come eventually. But we should have done more As You Like It performances because LeBeau and I, we, we aren't finished. We, we might never be finished with each other, to be honest. I can see myself being LeBeau for the rest of my life and I'd be very happy doing that. Packing up a show actually kind of does help saying goodbye to a character. You know, like packing up the theatre, putting the set away, props away, costumes being put away into a closet. That actually does help with saying goodbye. It actually helps get into the mental state of like, yep, this is officially finished, like, this season is done. If you ever do another season of the show, then like, you've got the character there, but this is officially the end for you. Actually putting your script on a bookshelf or locked away in a locker because you can't look at it ever again because you're that type of an actor. Um, actually does help rather than putting your script in a bag or on your desk or just open on a table, you know, it actually helps to put it away on the bookshelf and like, as if it's a normal book, you know, like, you'll never be that role again. Well, you'd hope you are that role again if you enjoyed it, but, you know, the scripts that I have on my bookshelf, like, they're there because it helped me understand the fact that my time with that character is done. Watching footage of a show can actually help as well, you know, accepting that the show is done but the memories are still there forever, you can look back at the memories forever and watch it as if you're an audience member, notice your mistakes and just be like, can I please just do that one more time just to do it right for once? But watching it actually does help me understand like, hey, it was good when it lasted, but it's like an author when they finish a novel, they have to accept that they've finished it and it's published. When an artist finishes a mural or a painting in general, they have to accept that that's the end of the piece. When a football match ends, they've got next week or something, so they're fine. They don't understand this. There's always this cycle of ending throughout humanity in a lot of industries. And yeah, I just feel as if acting is one of them where you're really getting into the saying goodbye to a character a lot more than certain other industries. Saying goodbye to a character marks the end of a job where you might never get another job in this industry ever again. And then it's also just the understanding of like, hey, this is the end. I might never play this character ever again. Lebeau, we have unfinished business. So, if any production company announces that they're doing As You Like It, send me an email, because I would be more than happy to be LeBeau. I want to be LeBeau one more time. Just one more time. Maybe, like, one year's worth of shows. You never know. I would gladly do eight shows a week as LeBeau. Eight shows a week as LeBeau would be amazing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment something down below. Subscribe if you haven't because I make a new video every week. And I hope to see you in another video.